Before I wrap up this disappointing video, let me start off with some footage of the spark in sport mode. All right, so let's go ahead and go over some of the return to home features. Go ahead and turn everything on, go into the app. So first we're gonna set our home point. Basically every time the Spark turns on, it wants to designate the GPS location that it is at as the home point. And you can go in and manually change it whether or not you actually want that to be the home point or if you want the home point to be something else. So the top right hand corner, you see the three dots. We're going to go ahead and select it. That's going to bring us into our main menu. And basically this icon that looks like a drone right up top, that's going to be the MC settings. And that is going to bring you to your home point settings. So your home point settings, if you notice, you have two options there at the top. Where We'll get to the RTH at current altitude later. So home point settings, you have the one where it is GPS, and you have the one where it looks like a little person and a dot. So the person in the dot is where you are, where your controller is, where the GPS signal of the phone you're using or the, the controller, if you have one, where that point is, is where the home point will be set. So if you want the home point to be set where it is right now, sitting on this table, you would select it. Set current, out, uh, set current aircraft position at home point. Home point will be set at the aircraft's current position. When required, it will return to this point at minimum altitude of 98 feet according to your fail safe settings and this is very important see your return to home altitude here that's very important for you to set and here's why if you take a look at your surroundings you may have buildings you may have trees you may have a wide open field and this is going to determine the altitude that you need to set for your uh, spark if it ever loses signal so you want to set it at a safe altitude well above any obstruction so if you have a building that's say 150 feet Let's put it at 200 feet, the uh, return to altitude at 200 feet. Since I'm in a wide open field, we're going to set it to 33 meters. So it give us roughly 100 feet. So now that that's set, that is your basic home point settings, very basic. So let's go over the return to home at current altitude. When enabled, aircraft will return home at its current altitude when it is within 3 to 20 meters away from the home point, And it will land immediately. So that's basically an option if you're a beginner and you're new to it and you get concerned with what your aircraft is doing and you slap that return to home point it's going to stop immediately and if it's within that three to 20 meters then it's going to return at the altitude that it is at that point and it's going to land so if you don't have any obstructions in the way then that is okay to set but if you do i would recommend not setting that because you want it to raise above any obstructions and you just don't want that to be even an option for anything to happen and we'll go ahead and click on the man with the GPS icon. Set current RC, remote controller, location as the home point. Home point will be set to your current position. The distance between your position and the home point is 20 feet. Please confirm this setting. Okay. So that's basically putting it where this controller is on this table right now. That's where the home point will be. So let's go ahead and position the spark where I actually want it to be. And we'll get back to it. Okay, now that I actually have the spark where I want it to go, when it returns to home, we're going to go back into our settings, 
select the drone icon and hit the set current aircraft position as home point. I'm going to select OK. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Another thing to note is that the spark usually sets the home point as soon as you take off to where its location is. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fly off into the field. There's two ways of bringing your spark home. There's your return to home button here. If you press and hold, it'll initiate the return to home. And there's a return to home here. The arrow down icon on your screen. This will return. It'll put a pop up. Would you like to return to home? You say yes. Let's go ahead and put the spark over in the field a little bit and initiate the remote controller button return to home. Okay, now that we have it positioned, Go home. that sound right there is the return to home. And basically, it is going up to a hundred feet. And it's coming back home. All right, it's initiated its landing sequence. At any time that you get uncomfortable with where the spark is and it's returned to home, you can always take it back over. There is an X icon on the left-hand side of your screen on your phone inside the DJI app. You can press it and you can take it out of return to home mode. Like right now. Optionally, you can always hit the return to home button on your controller as well to get it to stop and come out of return to home mode. Okay, so let's try the other way. All right, so we're going to take it back off and this time we're going to select the remote control as its home point. So I'm going to take. I'm going to walk to the middle of that circle over there, and return to home. Let's give it a shot. There's a circle that I am going to be flying to, and if you heard, it set the home point when I took off. All right, we are now at the circle. I'm gonna go stand in the middle of it. I'm gonna designate this spot as my return to home. So let's go ahead in the settings, MC settings, set current RC location as home point, select OK. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Home point is updated. All right, and this time I'm gonna use the app to initiate the return to home. Return to home and land aircraft will head to home point and set return to home route. Use virtual joysticks to adjust flight direction. Go home. Let's see how it does. So I've stated before, it is prompting me to confirm landing. I don't know why it does that in most Android devices, it does that to me, in Apple it does not. 
So we'll go ahead and confirm that. All right. So, not the most accurate thing. And if you notice, when I set the controller home point, I walked away and it still landed at the circle. So it does not follow your controller. It just sets the home point where your controller is at that point in time. So you can set it, forget that you set it there, and walk somewhere else. Or if you're paddling down a river or something like that, and it returns to home, it could go somewhere else. So you gotta be mindful that it does not set it. It'll set it to that point at that location at the time you set it. And you can walk away and it'll still go back to that point. So let's do a simulated test of what if the worst happened? What if your controller were to turn off in flight? So I'm gonna set the altitude a lot lower to 10 meters, because I don't need it going high. I'm gonna set it at current location. Set the return to home to current location. I'm gonna fly over. All right, not very far away. Now, there's the power. What happens if your controller dies in mid-flight? As the phone has no signal, aircraft is disconnected. What does it do? So I got a prompt on my phone to signal lost, return to home, and I selected OK. Okay, so that was me flying it back home. So why did it just land there? Why didn't it come back to home, the home point that I set? 